and I am Jared. We live in Noble Park. Um, we've been here in this house for 40 years. Nedra. I grew up in Springvale, so I haven't moved very far. Um, I, well, I was born in the island of Mauritius and I migrated to Australia in 1971. And uh, we were married in 1974. And uh, we have lived in this house here in Noble Park since 1980. And uh, so. Mm. We have three children and three grandchildren. Coil, uh, better known by Liz Coil in the art world, and uh, I live in Ormond, uh, Victoria 3204, with my dear husband Martin, and two pussycats, Maximus and Lola. Oh, Maximus been around for 20 years, very shortly, and Lola is only eight years old. about cats since I was a little tiny girl because I lived on a farm up in the Woomera, up in Nil. And uh, we, we had all sorts of um, animals, but I love the cats best. I think that animals help everyone. And they especially help the uh, soldiers when they come back, the dogs do. They come back and they they have these um, dogs that help them to overcome their, their fears and everything. Well, I live alone, but I have help from the council. And um, it enabled me, me to stay here. Um, and down here in Block of Flats, we've got several people in blocks of flat that have got cats. And down the back in number 10, they've got two cats. One of them is called Karma. He's a ginger cat. And he comes out all the time, wants to be patted. He's his own boss. He lets you pat him and then he'll go off and he'll do his own thing. You know, what cats do. Bolston Street in Balaclava. I have a cat called Booty, Boots for short, 
um, she's very mischievous because twice she's run away and twice I had to take her to emergency and she was nearly at death's door but it was worth it and in the storm she left and in the storm she came back so she was missing for three weeks and I thought oh I won't get her back the second time she ran away um, she did that because she got her collar cord under her arm and it was chafing and she was scared that I would find her sick and cats don't they're embarrassed they don't like being found sick so I saw her under the clivias and I whisked her away lucky she didn't fight me and I took her to emergency and it all worked out so happy ending and I just want to thank her for helping me in COVID even though she's not the most affectionate cat after all that's happened to her but she purrs she loves her food she loves her secret garden she loves playing with the tube I've got her, she she's hates some of my friends, but that's okay, they know her by now. my son but not so much with Jared although Jared feeds him in the morning and he's quite happy for that but he doesn't go and sit with him but he likes to sit with me most nights do you actually wake me if I am not awake I mean <laughs> and that time he will run and run over my face yeah he wakes and him up early in the morning to get fed you like to get me out of bed and say come on mate where are you are you running over to feed me or not <laughs> <laughs> so much more during lockdown because before that we were out quite a bit so the cat was home on his own but um, we've had him for about six years previous to that we hadn't had a cat for oh, like nearly 15 years but puss we used to see him walking over the roofs of the units behind us and one day he just came down into the yard and we started feeding him because you felt sorry for him and it didn't take him long to come down to the back door, even though we had two dogs at the time, but he ruled them. And he made his way inside and that's where he stayed. Uh, we did find these owners and they signed everything over to us. And we called him Puss because his previous name was Joker, which wasn't terribly nice. And he's been here ever since, but he's a bit skittish. She's not sure of people at all. But the way I was moving my, my own work on Blackship on Facebook, it lightened up a lot of people, it lightened their day. They were looking forward, I have had people say to me, hey man, what happened this morning? You didn't put anything on. You know, we look forward to your work in the morning, you know, and we look forward to one more month to go to the vaccination. But just so a lot of people have made a lot of nice comments, which gave me an incentive to keep on making it, you know, growing hands in the morning. <laughs> and I am still doing it, but on, the, on a much slower pace at the moment. But just, it will come back. I started. <laughs> Trying by hand at God when I was in hospital in 2015. I spent seven weeks in hospital and it was something to occupy myself and the nurses looking at my work, commented on it and said, How long have you been drawing? And I said, Look, I only just started now because they believe me, but said, No, it can't be right. And. Uh, Look at the camera. So. I, after I left the hospital, I didn't do much for quite some time. And when lockdown came along, I thought, well, I've got to find something to do. And I decided to pull out all my hard work and started doing a bit of art, and that's how we got on. But you see, we do music and
I think my story is a little bit different because I, since I started painting, I have been working from home. Um, and the, the lockdown itself gave me even quieter time. Um, th there is no rush out there that distracts me or anything like that. So the first time was new in a way that my husband had just started working from home as well. That was another body walking around the house and asking questions and where you go and what you're doing and stuff. And as an artist, you are in that mindset of uh, I'm going to use that color or I'm going to do that shape and, and you have a distraction. But um, since we have the studio, now only have the studio for the last four months, um, it's wonderful because I come out here and uh, I am with my imaginary friends and um, the lockdown itself didn't affect me that much. So in, with my companions all the time, with Max being 20 years old, I have to feed him um, more than once a day. I can't leave the food in there because he will not go and have it himself. And um, so I have to interact with him more often. It's me. I grew up on a coffee farm back in Brazil. And on those days, uh, we're talking about, by the way, yes, um, I'm 64 years old and um, I feel that I own it by sharing with the city slickers especially what uh, life can be on a farm years back. And I assure you there are places in Brazil and some other countries that are producing coffee where this is how we make a cuppa. Um, the, the beans come into the, the mortar and pestle, get smashed, it's a very hot sun and the, the, you know, the poor block here is sweating and then our little lady beautiful making a hot cup of coffee so no matter no chino here no chino there but yeah that's just the way we drink our coffee okay so now i think it's time for us to show you our two precious felines okay follow me please So, maybe if you, yes, you come from that side. That's little Lola. Woo! Oh, darling. This is my little Max. See? He's the, the senior in the house. He runs the rooster, don't you? Now, he we want to drink water from the tap in the bath. <laughs> so every time he wants a drink he will let us know and then we have to go and let him <laughs> in the bath. when people couldn't visit she's there but um, I enjoy her company she's never complaining um, she's different to a dog she's um, 
more within and she gives herself airs and graces but I like that about cats they they don't follow a leader they more like a, their own master during COVID I had limited subject matter I could paint myself which is not really interesting because I've done that before and I don't want to look like a Van Gogh self-portrait so what I wanted to do was sketch booty do embroidery of her which is this one a little Mona Lisa of boots um, on black calico white thread I sketch with the white pencil first and I did a pastel pencil of her which is in the exhibition I did a few versions and I used a bit of purple although she's not purple I like to put in some bright colors but there's the little cat it's an oil pastel uh, this is um, the cat's dream or it's a very typical name for a painting but it's got a, like a firebird in the sky and the cat is thinking of the beauty in the in the world Mrs. Chippy. Oh, Mr. Chippy. and so is that a real cat no it's a uh, it's a um how shall I put it? Um, an image cat. <laughs>